Hey y'all, it's Diane with Y'all Craft One and my old barn door. And I just came to do a quick flip through of the um, Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook um, ring binder journal um, that I created. And um, so just gonna do a quick flip through. So on the front, you just have this tie. This is some of the hand frayed ribbon that I have in my Etsy shop. And then um, on the, um, you know what, let me just go ahead and untie it so you can see a little better. So I just have this tied around the journal um, so that you can take it off completely so that it doesn't get in, in your way when you're trying to journal in the book. Um, and then on this one, um, I had this quilt um, piece that I got, I believe I got it from Selena. So I cut a piece out to fit, sewed around the edges, and then sewed some eyelet trim um, to the edge of both sides um, just for added decoration to the spine. And then on the spine, you have this gorgeous, gorgeous little tassel. Hopefully you can see that. I found some really, really pretty beads. And then you have, this is actually a true vintage um, wooden sewing spool that I added some fabric around. And then you have the pretty little... Um, laces and um, fabric ribbon and crocheted laces and then twines and in each piece of the twine you have pretty pretty little um, bead dangles on each one um, super pretty different colors of blues and reds and greens and golds and browns so super pretty little tassel so you can take that off um, the way I had to attach it is with the, the book ring clips, and then this is a keychain, and then I attached it with a lobster claw so that it would hang over the edge of the journal for you like that. Okay, so I'm just going to flip that to the top, and we'll go on inside and do a quick flip through. Now, these journals are absolutely stuffed, so when you get them, you may have to take some stuff out because I stuffed them. I really, really packed these journals. Okay, so you have the front little... Um, a clip thing that protects your pages. This book is a uh, copyright 1981. It looks like the seventh printing is 1987. So it's not super, super old, but it is still considered vintage. Um, and then in the front pocket, I wanted to, again, make this very tactile and use lots of different types of laces and fabrics and ribbons and, and vintage things. So you have lots of goodies in this book. So I did the front pocket with... Um, this is an old quilt that I cut up and made a pocket out of it. And then inside the pocket, I stuffed you a bunch of goodness. So you have some cute little things that you can use to decorate in your book. And then there's a vintage recipe. Um, this is just an Edith Holden page. This is one of the index pages, which I love her handwriting. And these are perfect for decoupaging napkins on and making envelopes out of. And then I put you some strips, just some little um, snippets of the papers that I used throughout the book. So I put you some pieces of that in here for you to play with in the book. And then some of my um, calendar pages. I love, love, love these quilt calendar pages. And then these are vintage um, children's music pages that I just had little snippets of. So put you lots of goodies in that front pocket. Um, to give you extra stuff to play with in your journal and decorate with and make it your own. Then on the front of the pocket, I put a little bulb pin and it's just got a little tiny swatch of muslin um, with a button. Then you have the vintage playing card with the rooster on it, which I absolutely love. I should have scanned that. <laughs> This is some of my Seven Gypsies paper, and I put you some of the fabric ribbon that my friend Holly sent me. There's a lot of that in here because I absolutely loved it, and she ruffled it, so I just was able to um, glue it to the page. This is one of my farm style clusters, and I just added a little button or embellishment at the top. This is one of those driver's daily log records that my friend Leslie sent me. And I thought that was cute to add in there. Another vintage playing card. I love, love, love these. So stinking cute. One of those children's um, dictionary pages. And then here you have a chenille pocket. I'm in love with the chenille. Absolutely in love with the chenille. Um, I believe this one Sarah sent me. I can't remember if this is from Sarah or Laura. 
So anyway, one of the two, go check them out. You'll see, um, uh, you'll see there in their shops they have packs of chenille. And then I put this cool little um, flower embellishment on here with a brad. And then in the pocket, you have one of these super cute little um, tags, uh, one of my collage tags that I made. I think I actually made this on video with you guys. You have a guest check. You have a music flashcard. And then one of these um, teacher record cards. So super cute little vintage. All of these pieces, well, both of these pieces are vintage. And then, of course, the guest check isn't vintage. And the tag is handmade by me. So you have some of this um, really cool, uh, this is that, um, it's like the 80s style ribbon. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, I just sewed it down the edge there. I'm just going to try and flip through pretty quickly. This is from a beautiful, beautiful book. I love the colors in this book. And I thought it went well with these ring binders. Um, a lot of the pages are going to have tabs on them. This is vintage um, feed sack fabric. And then each one, I put um, some, some type of bead jewelry on each of the tabs. And it's either attached with a safety pin. This is a quilting pin that I tried to rust. Um, and... So it'll either be attached with that or a bulb pin. And you can get those in my shop. This is one of those quilting pages on an altered paper clip. This is some of my Autumn Farms digital kit. So I added some of those in there. It's a cluster with a little um, vintage playing card added in there. Um, on a lot of the pages, I sewed seam binding. Not seam binding. What is it called? You guys know what I'm talking about. I have lots and lots of packs of these. Um, they're like the quilt edging. Ah, the, it's on the tip of my tongue. You guys know what they're called. Anyway, and I thought, how cool would it be to use those to decorate the edges of the pages? So I just sewed it down the edge of the page. The dic dictionary page, or this is actually from a thesaurus. This is from a really, really pretty um, book that I had that has like quotes and poems and things in it little stories about friends this is some of my seven gypsies paper and another one of those um, fabric ribbons that holly sent me thank you holly then on this side i have one of my cluster pockets that i made and then tucked into the pocket uh oh <laughs> i have a vintage uh, well you have a creeple and then this is a vintage easter card because you know it's spring it's easter so Thought I'd add some of that in. You have a bingo card. This is another cool little guest check. And this one is a duplicate. So you can actually fold it over. And then a really cool little, um, like a graph page um, that came out of a vintage stack that I had. So you get lots and lots of vintage items in these journals, okay? This is some um, vintage velvety ribbon that I had so I just stapled some as a tab on the edge of the page. There's another fabric tab with um, some book jewelry that I create that I made. I made all of the book jewelry on um, on these journals. Love 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 this. This is from a children's book and I just thought it went perfect with the farm style theme. So I added that one in there and it's just flipped out. You can either glue that and make a pocket, sew it and make a pocket or you can journal on the inside and have some hidden journaling the tab pages I did not do anything to I usually leave those for you to decorate how you want to this is one of those really cool long um, recipe pages and so you can use it to tuck something in which is what I did and this is a vintage envelope with a little piece of stationery in there super super pretty one of my friends sent it to me I think it was Sandra but I'm not sure so if I'm wrong you can correct me some, some of my vintage wallpaper. Um, I have some of these wallpaper packs in my shop, so those will be available to you. Some more from my Autumn Farms digital kit. And then on the back, I put one of my clusters and just took the little, <laughs> the little children's playing card with a pig on it. This is from that Wildflowers of America book. This is super, super vintage music. This was from the 1800s, late 1800s. And I love how you can see the old tape on it so just be careful if you get this book this is a little bit fragile 
this one flips open and I used a little cluster here and then just tucked one of these really really cool vintage postcards I think these were from the 80s or the 90s maybe the 90s um, but these are in pristine shape and my friend Rose sent them to me I believe it was Rose I could be wrong on that no Rose didn't send me these I sent Rose some of these anyway one of my friends sent them to me and I'm sorry I can't remember who but thank you very very much I'm very appreciative so I have some um, some fabric and lace ribbon sewn to the edge here and on the other side I put you just some extra sheets um, for journaling you can share them throughout the book on an altered paper clip some children's book pages because I always have to have those in here and a very very vintage dictionary page with a tab um, and some book jewelry on a safety pin one of my seven gypsies pages with some of that 80s type ribbon love 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 that cute little love the chenille pocket I absolutely love the chenille and then I put um, this is like a washi sample on a little mason jar and I just attached it with a bulb pin and then I stuffed the pocket with just some extra little goodies a vintage playing card um, just some really cute little trivia cards. You get a creeple in there. This is like a, um, a play setting card. And then one of my tags that I made. And then um, a bridge um, score sheet. So I actually really, really stuffed all of these pockets. So, and like I say, they're really, really, um, they have alligator mouth. But once you take all the goodies out and you know distribute them where you want them um, you know or use them in another journal or whatever it'll kind of make the alligator mouth go away a little bit this is a pocket um, that my friend made me out of map pages and so I used it in this journal and I just put some extra little um, vintage papers in here note pages and then this is actually from her um, family's farm um, it's um, true vintage I'm like a receipt type thing so thank you Leslie thank you for sending me some of those I absolutely love them so those just go down in this little map pocket that she made if I can get them down in there there we go okay this is some wonderful 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 vintage ledger paper um, that I got from Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. And it's actually dated October of 1896. So it's very, very old. Beautiful, beautiful handwriting. So you have a couple of sheets of that in here. This is from an old Norman Rockwell book. I love, love, love Norman Rockwell. And to me, he's just, he speaks country. So thought it would be cute to add that. Here's some more of that um, binding it's not seam binding, but you know what a quilt binding or, uh, I can't think of it. But anyway, got some ledger paper. Um, and this is a, just a little piece of map that I had left over. So I made a little pocket out of it. And I put you some extra little, um, like those phone book pages in there. And then um, a cute little, uh, one of my scrappy tags, or collage tags. Here is, um, this is a, from a My Book House book. And then I put you some bead jewelry on there with a little bell on a safety pin on that tab. Super pretty. I love the ruffles on this. This is some of that 80s ribbon. And then you have um, one of the quilt blocks here with the rooster on it that I love, love, love that. And it's on an altered paper clip. This is, I think this is from a Helen Steiner Ross book too. This is some vintage ribbon that I sewed to the edge from a children's book page. This is actually like a little golden book. And then of course you have to have some of the workbook pages. I think I'll put these workbook pages in every journal that I do. Some children's book pages. Um, I think that's from Helen Steiner Ross book as well. Some more from my D Autumn Farms digital kit. Um, Got an altered paper clip there with a little rooster with a scripture on it. So stinking cute. This is some very, very vintage handwritten music. Um, this, I think, came from where like a teacher was teaching music. 
and I don't know if you can see but you have um, the very old type of um, hole reinforcers on there this is fragile so be careful but then on the back side if you flip it over you can kind of see I don't know if you can see it on camera but you can see um, where the, the child wrote on the back side of the page too and you get the little bubble underneath it so super cool vintage music page some from one of my floral books love 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 this and then I put a um, belly band here with some of the 80s ribbon that I got from Selena and then just a cute little decoration that I got from Cricut in the center there to decorate with and then you just have a little journaling sheet here that I think I love love I always love those little pictures of those kids and then you have like a receipt and it has the pink and the yellow copy with it and then this I believe is um, it's a page from one of my very vintage little recipe pamphlets so love 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 those I was wanting I was gonna put the whole pamphlet in but it wouldn't fit it was too thick so I just put a page from it because I believe that one is from the 1950s here is some more of the ruffled fabric ribbon that I got from Holly this is an envelope that I made from a children's book page and I just stuffed you some vintage um, paper in here um, it's like vintage children's writing paper and it is true vintage um, children's writing paper of course I had to add some um, pages from my favorite child craft book so I thought that was cute with the dogs the dog and the cat on it and then the little hunter man another page from that thesaurus children's book page you have a tab and some bead jewelry on there uh, book jewelry not bead jewelry <laughs> this is from one of my very very vintage Alice and Jerry books it's and Dick and Jane um, so I put one of those in here some of my most favorite vintage fabric and then you have um, some book jewelry on a ball, ball pin here's another sheet from my Autumn Farms digital kit some very vintage music some uh, vintage wallpaper and then on the back side you get another one of those rooster um, quilt block pages on an altar paper clip put some more of that ruffled ribbon and then you have a little um, Vita Donnelly pocket here and this is a true vintage milk uh, milk bottle top and then inside the pocket you have this teeny tiny little playing card I love those and then this one's teeny tiny too this I don't know if you can see it on camera but it is a die cut of a windmill and um, a weather vane with a chicken on it and then I made you um, an embossed tag with a ribbon and button topper on there super super cute and the, on this page you have a, t a fabric tab this is vintage fabric with some book jewelry on a safety pin Helen Steiner rice page this is some more of that fabric ruffled ribbon that I got from Holly another page tab this is an envelope that I made from a children's book page and I just tucked you some little journaling places in there and this really really pretty um, vintage stationery so pretty these are actually um, pages from the actual cookbook so this is not really it's not really cookbook themed it can be cookbook themed um, but it's it's kind of um, a very versatile this is from my autumn farms digital kit and on the back I put a cluster and a little children's card there this is from that Alice and Jerry book um, some ledger paper this is some of my seven gypsies paper and uh, some more of that ruffled ribbon from the 80s with the little ducks I love the colors in that and then back here you have one of those vintage recipe cards from Better Homes and Gardens on an altered paper clip you have some vintage wallpaper you guys I'm telling you there's so much vintage stuff in here you're gonna love this journal another tab with book jewelry on it on a bulb pen I'm telling you these books are stuffed so I'm gonna try and go a little faster another tab with book jewelry this is from that um, oh, 
something about mom book, but I love the pictures in it because they're so vintage looking. And then from a child craft book about the cow and the milkman's horse. So I thought that was cute to go in a farm style journal. And then this is from my autumn farms kit. And on the back you have a little scripture with a milk pail on an altered paper clip. You have some more of the fabric ruffled ribbon that I got from Holly. She just did such a wonderful job. And then you have a little piece of stationery on an altered paper clip on this side. You can tell this is my favorite um, fabric because I put a lot in this journal. But I love, love, love that. And you have some book jewelry here. Another one of those vintage ledger pages I got from Brooke. That one's from April of 1897. The handwriting is just beautiful. And you can see little rust spots. I love how vintage that is. This is um, a little um, tag made from a paint chip and embossed that I got from my friend Jamie. <laughs> and then a cute little paper clip with the crocheted lace at the top. An envelope made from children's book page. And I put you a little surprise piece of Chanel down in there. Another page tab with some book jewelry on a bulb pen. Children's book page, vintage music with some more of that ruffled fabric ribbon from Holly. This is a really cool vintage magazine page um, from M March of 1951. It was like a children's magazine. And um, I think I got that from Brooke too. Put you a little recipe card and a little game card down in there for you to journal on and alter and decorate it up the way you want it. Love, love, love this ribbon. Absolutely love it with the apples on it. This is some of my Seven Gypsies paper. Another one of the child craft book pages. This is my most favorite of all time child craft book. Some um, like a vintage student practice record sheet that I thought was really cool to add in there. And then these are just some really pretty stationary pages on an altered paper clip attached to this ledger page in the back that flips out. And then in the very back, you have a library pocket with a pretty library card in it. I just put one of my little clusters on there to decorate. And then you have my little patch. And it has a little scripture with the barn in my little name patch. So that is the Better Cro Betty Crocker. No, Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook. And it will be available in my shop when you see this video. So go check it out. If you love it, grab it while you can because these go really, really fast. And thanks for watching, you guys. Leave any comments or questions you have below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video with the new Pillsbury Family Cookbook flip through. Big hugs. Thanks for watching.